Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Yes, I have my new NAS box that just arrived. And I have also two drives as well too. So I'm going to start with the two drives. These are the Hitachi style Death Star NAS, which is sold by Western Digital now, uh, since they acquired it. And 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache, SATA 3. Okay, so... I'm not going to go too much into these drives, so these are the ones that are on the approval list from Synology that you could use with the Synology devices. So, I'm going to take the wrapping off of here, and I'll give you a tour of my new Synology DS21 5J. Yes, it's a dual drive NAS box, and you could probably map it on your PC or you can use it with your Apple and etc. It has a web interface and the packages over here tell you what's inside. It's a two year warranty, that's, a, that's an important thing to have. Of course, I'm not gonna go too much into the details. There's an RJ45 LAN cable as well. You can see the box size is not very big. So, you know, in fact, the, the weight is very, uh, it's not that heavy at all. It has all the LED indicators, you know, power button, and a fan in the back, reset button, USB 2.0, 3.0 supported, LAN port, Kensington security. So, um, without further ado, let's take a look at the box. So basically, this box is great for multimedia, photos, movies, music, you know, you can files to mobile, TV, cloud synchronization, anywhere access, file sharing. Yeah, this is the box to get. So I did a lot of research and I also talked to many people and they found this is the, the best product on the market right now. And that's sold everywhere, that's the only gotcha. So I got this one from Amazon. So let's open the box right here. Let's see my assistant will help me out in this thing. So these are the drives. I bought it brand new. It's a package, always the best deal. Here's the Synology. See, my uh, system will come by and help me take it out of the box while I'm holding the camera. Oh, what comes in the packaging? Well, you got the power supply. You know, of course, the welcome kit. You also get the screws, but here's the power supply. Uh, also, the RJ45 cable. Sounds like a, it also looks like a nice cushion over there. With a, I like the, they wrap it into a, uh, styrofoam like bag well i guess he's gonna tear it out so let's take a quick look at the box over here you got the power button on the bottom the model number on the lower left you got the this one this two status the land light so that's pretty much the box right here in the back you, you know you got the the network the usb ports the, the power supply, the Kensington lock. Notice the serial number and the Mac is also in the back of the box and the screws are not in the unit initially. So they, they start out with the the unit, the screws are not screwed in. So you don't unscrew it just to put the thing in. So you can see that it's already popping out right here. That is ready, it's hungry for the drives, yes. Okay, here we are. So I have the drive on the side right now. Different camera angle here and you know, and there's where you put the drives. Notice this unit in particular, this model, could only hold two drives. And also notice that each side of it could hold four screws to attach the drives with washers. See so if you get a better view of that. You can see the interface, the connector to the, the hard drives over there. Very simple product. I like the cushions. Here's another view of it. You can put it on a on the box now it's easier to uh, to look at more light so you know the box is uh not that big so it doesn't take a lot of space so you can probably put it on your desktop or your table it's not going to be a problem there's the big fan over there so you just slide the drive into there and uh, screw it in just how like that so you slide it in make sure it's all the way in you put the screws on the side so here's another connector that you're going to do add the other drive as well too. 
So let me give you a view on the side over here. See, that's where you put the screws. You see the washers? So your drive has actually had, had these screws, and all you need to do is put the drive in. Okay, so these are the screws that come with it. So basically there are eight screws. You know, you only can add two drives, so four screws on each side if you have, you, you know, you can actually run with one drive. You probably want to have two drives because you want to mirror the, the drives just in case one of the drives go bad, you won't lose all your data. Your data will be on the other drive. However, uh, here's more on about the screws, how to screw it in. If you wanted to use the drives as concatenated, you know, like may all to total one big size, you could do that as well too, to change the configuration to do that. So I'm going to attempt to show you to slide the drive in on the top one. The top one's a little bit tricky. Always do the bottom one first before you do the top. You see the, the connector over there? Okay, so I'm going to hold on tight over here. Don't touch any of the connector. You can just slide it in. See, as simple as that. Push. See a little push here. And then be careful with the, the parts. Put the two screws there. Okay, now after wrapping up, there's two other screws that come on the outside of the unit. So you need to put those two screws in. And there they are. So these screws, actually I found out you need a special screwdriver. It's a flathead. You know, it would probably work, but you need a really small one. Otherwise, it's going to be a little challenge to screw it in. <laughs> so you notice the cover when I put it in earlier, I forgot to mention. It's easy to slide out. It's also easy to put back in. And the fan, it's not very noisy, uh, as you will see my other uh, video later on, on this one. Just slide it in and put the screws in. Now, I have this set up. <clears throat> Initially, I set it up right here on the table. You notice that all the lights are blinking, you know, what's happening, you know, the power light and it's blue. You know, you got this one, this two, and everything. It's basically setting up. Be patient. You can't use it immediately. So basically, wait for it to set up. It's set up, the default is mirrored. It's mirrored between two drives. So basically you got one whole file system um, and it's mirrored between two drives. So just let it do its thing. Be patient, this won't be the normal operation. In the beginning, it's just like that. One of the first thing I did over here is install the disk station manager, the new software. And it takes a while, so I'm skipping ahead a little bit over here. It takes like 10 minutes. Then it's gonna ask you next. Hit the next key, then you know, enter your information and set up the account. You can remotely access it. Yeah, you know, I always send you emails and stuff like that about your status of your machine, you know, your Synology. You know, more stuff to do here as well. You know, uh, you can adjust the DSM update settings and such. I'm not going to go in great detail because you probably can read up, and these features may change over time, so I don't want to drill on it too much. Nice pull down menu, by the way, too. Everything is very easy to set up on this unit. There's not a whole lot of challenges to do. Okay, now that we install all the packages as recommended, there's also a quick, set, quick connect that you could set up as well. There you go. So that's it's browser based to manage it. It's very simple, and it gives you status on the CPU. And other information include, let me can zoom in to take a look, memory, the LAN speed, and such. And it tells you if it's good or bad. Okay, folks. So we had the Synology set up and been running for a while for a test. I'm going to conclude my uh, video. So I just want to mention that this is how it sounds like when the Synology is in sleep mode. Notice the fan noise is, exists, but it's very low. And you can feel the fan. There's blown air here. No other components are on right now. Uh, in normal operations, and by the way, you could power off by hitting the power button here. Um, all the disk lights light up and the status is green. And if you boot your computer up, it takes a little time for this uh, Synology to come up. So once you access it, if you're like uh, mapping the drive, and you do happen to map the drive, all the lights come up, so you got to keep that in mind. So anyway, that's the video surprise for today. Hope you liked the video. Uh, appreciate your thumbs up, please. And see you next time. Bye.